morning everybody it is monday november the 10th and i i decided to send my wedding ring for the doctor's appointment which is where i am now waiting on my um, gynecologist who also did my surgery i took a screenshot of my weights and i'll be adding the picture but um i went into the hospital at 2:33. i came home from the hospital at 2:40. And today I am 231.8 and it has officially been two weeks since my surgery. You know, I've had some setbacks with the exercises and things like that that I was trying to do. Um, so now it's just really watching my weight. I can't really burn calories as um, much as I would like to. But I'm kind of digging these curls. What do you guys think? <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm, my spirit is better. I'm still working on getting up to par. Um, and I got some three pound weights. Uh, those shouldn't be too heavy because I'm not supposed to lift anything um, that weighs more than a gallon of milk. So um, hopefully that'll be okay. And um, so I can start doing a little strength training with my upper body. And today I guess she'll tell me what all I can do physically as far as any lower body working out because I've been to the hospital several times with pain and bleeding and things like that. So we'll get the official, official, official what I can do today when I see my doctor. So have a great day and stay tuned. I'm still on the path to the comeback of a lifetime. Peace. So, guess who just left the doctor's office? This girl. And... The sore from the burn that I acquired in surgery or incurred or whatever word I'm supposed to be using during surgery is not quite healing properly. So she does still want me to use the antibiotic ointment that I was given when I was in the ER and um, she wants me to come back in a week to be sure if it's healing properly. Um, that was actually my only bad review. She's satisfied with my weight loss. Um, I'll get blood work next time to see how my iron is doing. Um, since we've gotten rid of the fibroids, but she said she really won't be able to tell anything until after my first menstruation because I shouldn't be losing as much blood, definitely not in as much pain. And, um, I've been taking my iron every day, so although I will have anemia for the rest of my life, it shouldn't be as bad as it was to hospitalize me as before. Um, I still can't do any lower body exercises, but my incision from the surgery is completely sealed. Yay! So that did heal properly, which is a good thing. Um, and that pretty much is it for right now. I have another appointment with her a week from today. And we will see what we see. And that's what's going on with the kit. I'm all bundled up. Cleveland is doing this thing. It's cold. <laughs> but I'm getting here. I got me a personal chauffeur. <laughs> see him? It's my personal chauffeur. Hey, hey, y'all move! Excuse me. Move! Okay, take some. Y'all have a good day. Peace.